I'm going to show you how to make some homemade corned beef hash and shit. First thing I'm going to do is fucking you're going to have, you're going to cut you up about three or four small potatoes and shit and put them in a pot with some uh, salt and simmer them for about 15 minutes. Alexa, set a time for 15 minutes. 15 minutes, starting now. Next thing I need is about a pound or a little less of some already cooked corned beef. About a, a, a quarter of, an, of a large onion, that's a smaller onion, so we, we're actually not going to use that much. One clove of garlic, a teaspoon of paprika, and some kosher salt. And that's all we're going to need to make us some fucking homemade corned beef hash. All right, so now what we've done is we took our corned beef and cut it up into little half-inch cubes and shit. Dice our onion real small, and the next thing we'll do... So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take one clove of garlic and I'm going to put it in the garlic press. If you don't have one, you can mince it up, you know. Go ahead on and just mince that garlic up. Get that in there. And the next thing you're going to do after that is fucking uh, mix all this shit right here together. Mix your garlic and your onions and your corned beef together like that. Mix them up real good. The next thing now, you know that I had them fucking potatoes and shit. And I simmered them. Simmered them. For 15 minutes you want to take your potatoes you don't want to cook them all up and while your potatoes are fucking slightly undercooked you want to take them and cut them up into little cubes like this go ahead on and mix that into your fucking uh into your corned beef hash at this point i'm gonna go ahead on and take like a little teaspoon of some fucking uh paprika Add like a teaspoon of paprika to this. Just a little bit to taste. Then I'm going to take some cracked pepper. I'm going to crack some pepper in here. Just like that. Just a little bit of salt, not much. I'm going to cut your salt. And we'll go ahead and just mix all this shit together. Works a little better if you got a bowl. But I did it on a plate so you can see what I'm doing and shit. Alright. Now the next thing you want to do, it's important, is you're going to take your, uh, you're going to get a pan and heat that pan up to a medium low. Alright. Once you put your shit in the pan, you are not going to fucking mix it around and shit. You're going to hear a little bit of a sizzling, and that's good. That's a good thing, because that means that your corned beef hash is cooking and shit. So, now, I'm got my pan on fucking on like a medium low heat. I'm going to go ahead on, I've got a little bit of bacon grease. Now, you can use cooking oil or butter or whatever. So, just a lightly strained bacon grease. I'm going to put just a little bit of that in my pan. I'm going to go ahead and take the pan and just so I can turn it around like that. Cutting the bottom of the pan with the bacon grease so that we don't have no sticking. All right. And the next thing I want to do is I'm going to take this shit right here. I'm going to go out and dump it in the pan. Just like that. Every little bit of it. Now I got my shit in the pan. I'm going to go ahead and take them using a metal spatula. I'm going to take that metal spatula and I'm going to press that shit down. Just like that. Press it down into the pan. Now I'm going to cook it like this so I'm going to load it low, medium low heat for 15 minutes. Alexa, start a timer for 15 minutes. 15 minutes, starting now. All right. All right. So as this shit is cooking, it's going to brown on one side. So as this shit is browning or whatever, it's okay when you get close to your 15-minute marks to make sure if it's not, if it's sticking, then you can add a little bit of butter and shit like that. But you can just pick it up on the corner a little bit and see how brown it is and stuff. Another important thing is wet corned beef makes fucking moist corned beef hash and shit. So you want to take your corned beef when you when you cutting it up and put it back in the juice. I didn't do that because I dumped the juice and I fucked that part up, but we're gonna go for it anyway and make some corned beef hash. 
Another thing is you want to make sure that your fucking eggs is ready when this shit comes off of the fucking stove because it's going to be its best when it comes out the pan and shit. So you're going to serve this with some eggs, fried eggs or whatever the fuck, you know. And the uh, best way I like it is look fried eggs, a little bit of runny in the middle of that shit so that some of that egg yolk can fucking mix in with the crispiness of the potato and that fucking corned beef hash and shit. So, listen, you hear that, you hear that sizzling? Hear that? That was me, but hear the sizzling in the pan? That's what you want right there. So now we're going to go ahead and let that shit cook for 15 minutes. God damn, look at this pretty shit right here in this fucking frying pan. You ain't going to get no cut, no, uh, I'm going to be hash out of no can that look like that shit, man. This is a fucking shit right here. Look at that nice crispy potatoes and crispy corned beef all juicy in the middle and shit. But I'm going to be honest with you. Don't use this recipe. All the ingredients is fine. The process in the recipe, which is what most recipes on the internet will tell you, to fucking fry this shit 15 minutes on each side in the frying pan on a medium-low heat, it's going to do nothing but burn one side of your fucking corned beef like that. It ain't gonna fucking crisp your taters up or none of that shit. The only reason that this fucking corned beef hash looks this good is because I took it and put it on a fucking baking sheet and rolled it in the oven and shit and then put it back in the pan. Now, I could have just said, God damn, look at that shit in the frying pan. That looks good. It came out like that and everything. But the point is, the truth behind it is, is that if you want crispy hash browns, you should fry your potatoes first. Don't fucking boil them in the fucking pan. And then add your corned beef and every fucking thing to your pan and your onions and all that shit. That's the way to fucking make nice, crispy fucking hash browns and shit. So, don't fucking, you, all the ingredients is right. Cut everything up just like I told you. Add the paprika, the garlic, the onion, the salt, the pepper, all that shit. Just don't be putting that shit in the fucking uh, frying pan. And cooking it for 15 minutes on each side and shit and then flipping it over because you're going to get disappointed. You're going to get fucking hard-ass black on one side corned beef jerky with fucking soggy potatoes and shit. Now, understand you're making corned beef hash and you're not fucking making crispy potatoes and crispy corned beefs and shit. It's supposed to be a hash, so it's got to be sort of like that. But fry the fucking potatoes first. Add the fucking corned beef in the damn onions and all that shit after the potatoes is crunchy and it'll be much better like that you can put you some ketchup on that shit mix your eggs up on that bitch and all that other shit and it come out nice but this right here is a result of the broiler in the oven not from the recipe that fucking everybody's got on the internet so homemade fucking corned beef fucking hash not at the can this halfway how you do it and halfway how you don't fucking do it so y'all have a good, you know, if you got any questions, you can leave it in the comment section, but I'm not going to give you a good answer because I ain't do this shit right. But, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you can ask anyway, and I'll try to answer the question, but if you fuck up your hash browns, don't say I didn't tell you that. <laughs> so subscribe to Get Go TV and uh, leave a comment. And, tell you know, if you got a better way to fry some fucking hash browns and shit, then you let me know. And then, then we'll make a video, do it the right way the next time. So y'all have a good day now. Subscribe.